My name's Jeff Makarevich, and welcome to Wine and Dine with Jeff, where I'll make a healthy dinner from start to finish and pair it with wines from around the world. Let's fill up that glass. Hi, my name's Jeff Makarevich, and welcome to Wine and Dine with Jeff. Today, we're going to the tropics. Yes, we are doing a coconut crusted orange roughy with a mango salsa. You will just love the flavors. And I'm pairing it with this French Sancerre that will just brighten up all the flavors. Let's get started on the marinade. Such a simple marinade. I have some lime juice, fresh lime juice in there. I have four all the way. I'm just putting the rest of the other one right on in there. That was a juicy lime, I must say. Uh, all fresh lime juice in there. And then the only thing we're going to add is some garlic, some minced up garlic. It's that simple. The fish is just going to sit in this marinade for such a short time. We're going to add a little bit of cracked pepper to that and some salt. It's probably going to sit in a marinade for about 15 minutes, that's all. So look at these beautiful peaches, pieces, I should say, of orange roughy. Let's get them in there, get them soaking in that marinade. Now let that go, and while that's marinating for about 15 minutes, really fast, you don't want to let it go too long, let's start work on our mango salsa. I have a fresh mango here and let me show you the how I like to cut into a fresh mango. A mango has a, a very flat pit so if you watch this it always ends up on the side when you toss it where the flat pit is. So you want to slide it up like that so we know the pit is going this direction right? So you just want to take your knife and you want to cut down the pit side like that and the pit will be in the center and what I like to do is take not the sharp knife take like a butter knife and I go and score it through like this so it doesn't uh, go all the way through I don't want it to go all the way through the skin so I'm leaving the skin on and so when you open it up it kind of opens up like this if you could see and so then what you want to do is you just take your spoon and they just easily come right off. See how easy that is? So let me finish up the rest of these and uh, we'll get cutting up some vegetables that will go in this mango salsa. Let's finish up our mango salsa here. We've got our mango in the bowl already. We have some red pepper that we chopped up. Let's get on in there. And we have some red onions going in also. But a little bit of heat. I just wanted a little bit of spice, so I added a jalapeno was going in. I de-seeded it because I didn't want it to be too spicy. I wanted to get the sweetness from the mango. And some cilantro is going right on in. And we have the juice of that lime going right on in right there. Oh, yes. That is one juicy lime and a little bit of salt. It's that simple, that simple. That's all you need for this mango salsa. Now look at the colors of this mango salsa. Isn't it beautiful? Oh, that is just alone. I can dive in and eat it all by myself. So let's put that aside and let's get working dredging our orange roughy, our fish in that coconut crust. It's time to set up our dredging stations and I wanted to show you the most important one here. And this is the one with the coconut flakes. Take a look at these. These are finely shredded. They're unsweetened is what you want. And we are to drive in more of the coconut flavor. We are not using flour. This is coconut flour we're mixing. And all the exact ingredients are right down below in the description center. And on top of that, we are going to add in a little bit of curry. You choose your favorite curry, a yellow curry, a red curry, an Indian curry, whatever you'd like. So we'll just mix all this up. We'll get the rest of the stations. We'll be an egg wash. And we are going to keep this flourless 
for the gluten-free people. Um, and we are going to add some coconut flour. We're going to be dredging in also. So let's get those set up. Okay, our dredging stations are set up. Let's get a rolling. You can take the fish right out of the marinade uh, and put it right into the coconut flour. So right into that coconut flour, just giving more of that coconut flavor. And you wanted to make sure and salt all of these also. And then right into our egg wash, get around. This is gonna be the glue to help that coconut flour and that egg wash is like the glue to help stick all these coconut flakes on. And then right in here to the coconut flakes, flip it over. I always like to do a little shake and throw extra on top and just pat it right down like so. So look at that. Look how luscious. Look, look at that piece with all that action. You want to shake off any extra. Look at the coconut piled on that. Let me finish up the other ones and let's get them into the pan. Now that we have our coconut crust on our white fish, let's get it in the pan. What I have in the pan here, just so you know, is coconut oil. Yes. And on a medium heat, we're doing a medium heat, uh, two to three minutes on each side until you get a nice brown, crispy crust to it. And cooked all the way through, it will be delicious. I can't wait to try it. But I want to quickly tell you about this beautiful San Cyr. Uh, Pierre Raffault from France in the San Cyr region. Let me take a sip. Mmm. Wow. You get a good amount of acidity and then the terror, the earth there. But what you're getting is smelling honeysuckle and grapefruit with just a little bit of citrus and it has a nice perfect smooth tannins mm. it's going to go perfectly with this fish we'll let that finish up brown up and i can't wait to dig in Before I dig into this coconut crusted orange roughy, I first would like to thank all my subscribers. And if you're not yet a subscriber, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of my recipes. And don't forget to like and share and hit that bell so you know I have a new recipe and show every Tuesday. But I can't wait any longer. I have to try this. This looks so amazing. Oh, by the way, I sampled it before you came back. It was so good. I got to get a little bit of the mango salsa with this. Mm. Oh my goodness. I feel like I'm in the islands. Sun beaming down on me. <laughs> Glass of wine in my hand. This is amazing. You'll love the citrus notes with the coconut and curry it goes amazing together thanks for stopping by wine and dine with jeff and we'll see you next week